interesting. Yeah, I mean, the two things that I spent my uh, a lot of time on were proportional representation and Leveson too, and both of them were overcome or stifled by the right-wing press. And I'm going to go away and stay in touch, and then when we get a government that's decent and might actually start improving this country, which I think is in a mess at the moment, then I should come back. But it might be a long time. It's very good to have an experience like that because you kind of review your priorities. You know, it's like Robin Skinner said he went through a war, and he says it's wonderful to go through a war to have that experience, particularly if you had a guarantee at the start you wouldn't get killed. So when you have something like that, it all turns out fine. Then you're very grateful to have had such a such an uh, important experience. Has it changed your view on life? It's uh, kind of reinforced certain thoughts that I had. It hasn't changed anything because I've, uh, but it, it's just kind of maybe reminded me of my mortality. The first two movies we made were reasonably successful. Life of Brian was very successful. Uh, meaning of Life was always a bit of a dog's breakfast, but it's the hardest thing in the world is to make a comedy that lasts 90 minutes that's consistently good. And if you do it once or twice in your lifetime, that's about all you can hope for. Even if you go back and watch the greats now, you know, even the Keatons and the Chaplins, you still find that most, of, most great comedy is still a bit patchy. Well, it's an extraordinary privilege, but I'm almost embarrassed because there's this huge credit at the beginning of the movie because it's alphabetical, saying John Cleese, and then I'm on screen 32 seconds, and I get a credit before Robbie Coltrane is carrying part of the movie. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but I am in the next three, so maybe I'll have a bit more to do next time. This and the Bond are really two of the jobs that a very old man like me really loves now. Well, I think we all wanted to be Bond when we were 20 and the, the original Bond films started to come out. It never occurred to me for a moment I'd actually be in the films. No, it's amazing, amazing. Connie and I used to spend six weeks writing each episode. There was so much material in those episodes that there's a lot there. And that's why I think people can, can watch it over and over again. The whole thing level. cost four hundred thousand dollars, and the day before I uh, drove up to Scotland, 
uh, the producer rang me up and said, would you mind very much sharing a hotel room during the shooting of the movie? And I said, I'm a fucking film star. I said, what do you mean, share a hotel room? <laughs> that was how short we were. We had about four umbrellas for the entire cast and crew, but it was Scotland. So it started raining at seven o'clock, but the time they broke, and we had to try and get back to the, the to the uh, hotel because there wasn't much hot water there. By the time we broke, we were absolutely exhausted. John, just work your way ahead, please, sir. Keep coming to the going, please. Keep coming. Over to your right, sir, please. Come here. And quick look down there. <laughs> 